All right, so now we're going to talk about two variable inequalities, and that's the thing that we just uh, started today. So let me get my window right here. And so we're going to talk about two variable inequalities. And so when we're graphing these, it's no longer a number line. It's on x, y axes, on x, y axes. And um, the way we do this is, is sort of similar, uh, but it's just got a couple little differences since we're not on a number line. We're in, in the x and y axes now. We're still going to start by replacing the greater than with an equals. Right? And so that's the boundary equation. It's now a line. And you're going to use the slope and y-intercept to graph. Okay? And so we reviewed that today. You're going to use the slope and the y-intercept to graph. And remember that we don't have open and closed circles now. We now have uh, solid and dashed lines. And so uh, if there is no equal bar, it's a dashed line. If there is an equal bar, then it's a solid line. Okay, and we did an example with that. An example with that today. Okay. Uh, you are then going to do a test point, just like we do in the one variable case. And the way that's going to work is you're going to pick a point on one side of the line or the other. Don't pick a point on the line, and plug it into the inequality. So you pick a point. on one side of the line. And we're going to plug it into the inequality. And when you plug it into the inequality, it's either going to be true or false, right? It's going to make the inequality true, or it's going to make it false. If you make it true, you shade the side with the test point. If it's false, you shade the other side. Okay. So if it's true, you shade the side that has the boundary point. Um, or the, sorry, not the boundary point, you shade the side with that test point that you picked out, and if it's false, uh, you shade the other side. And again, we did an example like this, and we'll have a video with another example.